With money comes a lot of other stuff, you know, that it, you, you get whatever you want. You don't have to work for anything. You don't have to be responsible for anything. Everything is handed to you, and that way some people can't handle that. It's too much. But uh, I hope that doesn't, I don't think it'll ever happen to Sean. <laughs> Besides, he's going to buy me your house, he said. <laughs> Started working on the show, rehearsing, meetings with people. I, I was just caught up in this craziness. I had no idea what was going on. Day three rolls around, phone rings. And uh, it's my manager, Maureen, and my agent. And they're on the phone, and they're like, ah. and they were really upset. And I was like, hey. And they're like, sit down, Sean. We have something to tell you. And I was like, oh, my, what, what's up? What's up? The, the Ellen Show, they've decided uh, that they're not going to be requiring your services uh, moving forward. And I was like, what do you mean? Well, you're fired from the show. <laughs> and I was like, for what? I had like one friggin' line in the sketch about a horse. My mom showed up the next day, coming to see a taping of her son on an Ellen DeGeneres pilot. Mom, I've been fired. She was like, oh well, that's, that's it, I suppose. Uh, did you know Ray Romano was fired from news radio? Did you know that? I go, how'd you know that? I read it in Us Magazine. It immediately erased the concept of making it. So I have ne I've never had that pressure or worry about it ever again. There's no making it. You're gonna continue to do it. That's the key to longevity in this industry is just being able to continue to do it. If I win, that's cool. If not, that's cool, but I get to show my mom off. Isn't he lucky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.